Hello and welcome back to the Torres YouTube channel. Today we have a Team Fortress 2 Classic video. Yes, that's right. I got Team Fortress 2 Classic to work and it's working pretty fine. Honestly, I'm playing Trank Spy. I got the tranquilizer gun with the backstab and the regular cloak. Um, but I'm playing with... Uh, a couple of other people but this is a bot server it's arena game mode but like it's capture the control point which is really weird i don't know that that it was a thing i thought arena game mode was just yellow green blue red but apparently there's more yellow green blue red game modes with like different con uh, types of gameplay and stuff there's even an arena game mode i don't know if this is fan made but it's similar to genji wall but it's played by pyros and i'm gonna do a gameplay on that at some point as well but it's really fun you have to like air blast the rocket before it explodes you and that's probably the most fun i've had on tf uh, team fortress 2 for a while so if you are new to team fortress 2 classic i would definitely recommend giving it a try it is an interesting experience it is probably the most fun you can have online, if I'm going to be honest. But anyway, enough of that. Today, we're going to be going over a few comments that I've got on my videos. Because uh, the previous video, I had stated that I wanted to get more down to earth and personal. And I have an email that you can check out now if you want to also get more down to earth with me. But today, we have a couple comments to go over. So... This is, uh, comment is by Longcudor. I don't know if I'm, I'm probably bu butchering that. He says, as someone who's been doing Team Fortress 2 YouTube for less than a year now, this is still a concept I'm learning to live with. With YouTube anyway, people will hate your channel for not being perfect from the very start. But as long as you're growing and learning, nothing is a waste of time. And that is absolutely true. That comment was left on my scout video, talking about how you shouldn't have to take hatred. Um, but yeah, that's absolutely true. I find that if you have a passion in life, there will always be people that kind of like disagree, no matter what that passion may or may not be. And whether it be acting, film directing, YouTube video making, game making, whatever. You'll always have people that are gonna try to put you down because they don't understand it or that they don't really care. And in my other video, I expressed that there are just people who do it just for this, you know, gain of having fun with like making fun of your content. And you know, you know, it may, it may, it may not be the most productive use of their time or even something that I would say is healthy, but for them, it's just a joke or something other and you shouldn't have to put your mental state into it because honestly they don't care about that either so just focus on what makes you passionate now i know people will go out of their way to say hateful things and will probably tear into you whatever way they can but you know it's important to try to grow that independency thick skin or else you're probably going to be affected by those people and if you you know are affected by those people now take my words to heart because i think you deserve better this next comment comes from ice ender 10 to be completely honest i used to feel this way when people used to hate comment me on who I am but after I've grown up I came to learn that getting sad on hate comments is something I don't have to feel sad about this is because that I know who I am as a person and I know my limits and secondly the people who used to hate comment me I don't know them personally so why would I care about that guy anyway it's usually what I learn independently throughout my life and to be honest I find myself not feeling sad on hate comments anymore I just if or them all together. I'm not sure what the last comment meant, but that's very enthusiastic and I love that. Honestly, this was a nice video, at least to a psychological standout. That's exactly what I'm trying to go for here. If if uh, this like this these kinds of videos relate to you, totally, I I I, I would love this outcome. And yeah, uh, hate comments used to bother me too. In fact, recently I got a hate comment on uh, my pyro video, which uh, w was a, was a little weird. Uh, it, it didn't affect me mostly because I was just uh, curious on what they meant, and I even replied to them. I was like, hey, what? Uh, I I I'm, I uh, I'm like not that great at pyro but like if you're curious as on any loadouts you would like me to try i would totally like to try it or something to that effect and i'm pretty sure the comment was meant to be just mean but i took it in a more state in which i can handle where this conversation is going to go from their comment and that's kind of the, how you ha have to handle most bad actors online is you can't really let stuff like that get to you and even if it does you have to take it in stride you have to take it 
in a sense where you can make something new out of this comment and you don't have to be entirely negative about it especially considering you don't know that person and you're more mature than that person in this situation but it's also important to note that not all hate comments can be negative you can also learn a lot from some certain comments some some comments might just be criticism and it's important to take criticism like i am with all my videos it's just it's just a very sweet and healthy way to deal with things especially because you want to learn how to make good stuff for your audience this next comment comes from joba underscore i've been abused a lot for the way i am push me to near suicide a few times thank you for this video and i love you too i wish you a happy thought and please stay safe you earned yourself a new subscriber and that re was really sweet i mean i i, I personally I, uh, I i relate to that a lot um i wasn't ever abused by my parents uh in a sense uh physically but mentally uh, i'd say that i was for me to come out here and get out of my comfort zone and explain all that even if you know because my parents have access to my youtube channel so you know they, they, they could find out at some point that i said something like that but to me it doesn't matter because I want to share as much information as I can. And I want to make sure that people out there can do things in a healthy way, in a way that suits them, and not in a way that makes anyone else happy. Because at some point, I'm going to start making videos where, hey, you should show empathy to other people. Hey, you should give the weird kid a chance. Hey, you should give the shy kid a chance. But for now, um, my main goal is to express that you should internalize love for yourself and be genuine with yourself. And I'm very sorry for the way that your life has pushed you to the edge. And I'm very sorry that things have pushed you to suicide, but I'm glad that you're here. And I'm glad that you watched this video because I don't know where I'd be without you. This next comment is from IHN. I don't know what that means, but uh, hopefully that's the correct pronunciation. For me, I think I don't. Maybe because I'm depressed. Although I think I'm not, but over the years I've wasted my relationships with friends and family because I did them wrong, especially with my best mate specifically. I treated them like my therapist and because of that I fell down. They was a good person, both heart and mind, which made me more shameful that I treated her like that. They deserve better, and at that point in time I was a bum, and they were a star. Because I'm a bum, my parents lost trust in me after not following through on, on an important event. I feel as if I wasted my time with my classmates and friends because I wasn't able to bond with them well, taking things for granted, if you will. Don't get me wrong, I never harmed my classmates or anybody. We're still chill and hang out from time to time and talk about topics, and that loss of trust with my parents really opened me up on what I'm gonna do with my life. But if by any chance I can change the past, I'll take it in a heartbeat and actually treat the people around me better. But for now, I'll use this pain as strength to motivate me even if it's too much to get better. This part here kind of struck with me because in my opinion, I think that there's a lot of decisions in our life that we make as humans. And it can be oftentimes determined by the people around us because of circumstances. And using a friend as like a therapist really struck with me because I'm I, I relate to that. I have a lot of friends in my life that I can consider sort of a personal therapist. And I remember a lot of the time my friends couldn't handle that. And I'd end up hurting a lot of people. A lot of my friends couldn't handle the, a lot of my friends couldn't handle the venting. And I ended up losing a lot of important people because of it. In fact, very recently I trauma dumped on a couple of people in my life and it didn't end out so well. But I'm very proud of you for using that trauma and hurt as a moment of strength from your pain because you're capable of very great thing and i'm glad you're giving yourself that chance um I, I i think you should find people in your life that can handle your venting though because venting as a human and friend in general should shouldn't have to feel like you're walking on eggshells and it shouldn't have to feel like you're gonna hurt someone because of it you should feel like you're just gonna be safe you should feel like when you're venting that you will be protected and feel comfortable but sometimes that's not the case and i understand um where you're coming from just make sure to take care of yourself and if you need any more advice shoot me another comment and i'll respond on a video well that's all the comments i have here today but oh what bonus bonus comment actually bonus comment bonus comment bonus Shut comment up. this is from taf5k a day ago is your profile picture an oc 
If so, why do they seem angry all the time? Would love some backstory behind them if possible. Also, I really like the fact that you're doing these commentaries for whatever reason you have, but I hope you know that they do make a difference to someone's life, and I really respect that. One last thing, I assume you've been playing TF2 for a bit, over a decade now. How's the 64-bit update treating you? Personally, I can run TF2 without having it look like a PS1 game to get over 200 FPS. Um, I, uh, I like the new update, really. It is smooth, it's a lot more smooth, and I feel as if it's similar to TF2 Classic in its FPS, but not in its animation and other things, you know, because Team, Team Fortress 2 is naturally janky and the animations are old, especially since they had to cut back on the animations in the first place when Valve, you know, had problems with that. I'm not exactly sure what the issue was with all of the an uh, intense animations that they did, but um, my profile picture is an OC, yes. His name is Torres, and that's his only name. He doesn't have a last name, he doesn't have a first name. It's, it's just it's just Torres, I guess. It's I mean, I guess Torres would be the first name. He, he, it's just Torres, his name's Torres. And the reason he's angry all the time is because he's just, he's, he, he's void of emotion, to be honest. And he's down to earth, very logistic, and oftentimes doesn't smile because he doesn't know how to. But um, he's inspired from this Mandela catalog character named Caesar Torres. But in, in my in my sense, it's just Torres, because I think that's pretty cool. And also, I'm a huge fan of the Mandela catalog in general, so I took inspiration, heavy inspiration. Except my my Torres is just uh, it's essentially an alternate living among the humans, the same way a human would, but the same same way kind of a psychopath would. But um, <clears throat> he has a hard time feeling emotion, and honestly, I relate to that. Sometimes I have a really hard time uh, relating to people. Sometimes I have a hard time fitting in, and sometimes I just have a hard time having emotions at all. And I guess that's why I like Torres a lot. I drew. I drew my PFP. I drew all the art that you see of this character. At some point, I'm gonna have fan art of this character. I know a couple people in my life are already drawing him, but um, yeah, uh, I'll showcase the fan art of my character in videos whenever uh, you know I get enough subscribers so I can shill out my OC a bunch. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. And to that one person uh, in the comments that said I should keep my voice a little more enthusiastic. I hope this video does a good job at that because my voice is naturally mon mon uh, monotonous. It's I have a hard time uh, making my voice not monotonous or whatever the word is. But uh, thank you for watching. And this is a lot longer video than my normal one. So this is gonna take hours to edit, but thank you. And this is Torres. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.